Hey guys, it's the next day, and I managed to get a 512 meg compact flash card working to replace the 128 that I previously had in the CF slot. That way I can use that one maybe on the... We got the membrane in, and that seems to be working. I do want to repair it, but this came in the mail today. This is an Apollo... 1200 it is not an accelerator although it has all these things on it and a really jacked up socket with the Mach 130 uh, chip that does all the I guess IO for it. it's the 20 JC boy this thing got melted uh, I don't even know if this works it has a spot for a 6882 or 6881 the oscillator, FPU oscillator, it looks like some RAM maybe, a SCSI external and a SCSI slot and a hard drive LED and an Apollo ROM which is not fitted. It has a weird jumper here on this. I don't know why or what it is for. Maybe it had a bad chip and this person just soldered around it. I don't know. It's got like some really jacked up wires right here. The socket is really melted right here. And, you know, that's my life. So this probably won't even work. But we're going to try and see if it does. And the computer just decided it wasn't going to boot. So we're going to reboot that. Pop the lid off ever so carefully. I don't want to break my tabs. Come on. Fold this back. Now I'm not, I could just flip it over and do this, but you know, I like to live dangerously. All right, so it's in there. Apparently, that's not the way it goes. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna leave the bottom lid off for now. The card is, as you can see, sitting in there. We'll put the keyboard back down. We'll fold the 1200 back over roughly. And I have to tuck all these wires in because they love to get in the way of the GoTech and this little crappy button. Come on. Good enough. Good enough. So with that, we're gonna turn this on and see what happens. I have tape stuck to my foot. So here we go. Turning it on. Turning it on. I don't know what this is. I'll turn that on too. It is loading. Apologies. Okay. So as you can see right here, it does have four megs of RAM. 2 megs of chip, so I have 6 megs of RAM total. I don't know what this accelerator card even is. We're going to be on what it is, so fine. Fine. Okay. Now let's run uh, like sysinfo or something and see what the heck it says. Um, let's see if it's in the C drive. Yep, 318 is. So, memory, 4 meg, 24 bit, 32 bit RAM, 2 mega chip, 24 bit. Okay, DMA, DMA, exit, uh, boards. Zoro 2, 4 meg, manufacturer 8704, that is Apollo speed, nothing different, it shouldn't be any different because there's no accelerator, 14 and some change, 15.5, I think that's because of the memory I gained a little bit of speed, so I gained a tiny bit of speed because of the memory, um, NTSC, every, nothing changes, but the benefit now is that I can, uh, let's see if I get any speed burst. 
on my hard drives over a meg maybe 1.1 meg and DH1 should be the same because it's on the same card Point two. Transcend. All uh, right, four gig, and that's cool. Uh, let's see if the compact flash cards did anything better. CF zero speed. One point two. So about the same as a hard drive, which is good for me. And now I have enough memory to you know run a virus scan or do whatever and if I quit I can do some WHD load stuff having enough memory didn't release the RAM nice give it a reboot it's a delay in my restart here what's NTSC 443 look at that that's different oh nice Another reboot. Here it goes. All right. Maybe. Nope. What in the heck? Turn it off. Turn it on. Now it's booting. That's weird. Warm reboots don't like whatever it did. Four megs of RAM. So now I can actually turn this thing above to color. Which would be nice. Come on, get out of the way. We'll make it eight colors. There we go. So we have some color in the game. And then I can actually start putting stuff on here. Can I actually run a game? Maybe not. <laughs> Do I have any on here? Now, I don't think I set up WHD Lou, but I do have like a couple games. Let's turn the sound on. Cannon fodder. Load it. Unknown command. Okay, so no cannon fodder. Uh, Dark mirror? Uh, I don't have WHD load installed. Yay. Uh, battle chess? Um, oh. Okay, battle chess seems to... Uh, Work. Looks okay for what it is. I'm going to kill the knight and I'm going to have her kill my queen because I want to see what it looks like. Queen fighting queen. No, oh, shaking her butts. It's funny. Alright, let's see what happens when queen fights queen. Are you thinking that hard? Come on. I want to see what they do. Uh, same animation. Well, that was faster than any of them. Alright, well, I suck at chess. Cool. Well, at least I can play some games. So, that's a quick, uh, a quick something. So it looks like that is it for Project 1200 for me. For now, uh, we have the GoTech with the external screen. We have a fresh keyboard 
we have 314 ROMs. I'm going to be doing a, a new 314 build on a larger compact flash card to load it up with the WHD load games that I have. We have a 512 meg compact flash card and a external GoTek if needed. Looks like it works good to me. So that was uh, me piecing this together. It's an NTSC motherboard with a UK keyboard with a new membrane. The Apollo 1200 card. I already had the compact flash stuff. I already had the IDE compact flash emulator. Made myself my own floppy cable. I already had the GoTech. So I'm in roughly 450 to 500 US dollars. The same thing on eBay with a mouse, power supply, and everything was going for six to seven US. So I think I did okay with piecing together my own 1200 now that the sound seems to be fixed with the two caps and a uh, good cleaning, we're good to go. So thanks for watching this series and stay tuned for the rest of them. Hope you learned something.